Hey folks, welcome back. This is Shadow Empire and it's episode number 14. We are on round 42. I'm just looking at this treasury cash flow for this new turn like, whoa, what happened? Uh, why have I got some more money than I started with? And I'll tell you why. So you'll see, look, we've got 313 credits of expense and 433 credits of revenue. That's come from sales tax. The income tax has not made a whole lot of difference. But look, wow, look at this credit, this sales tax. We must have... Kirkwall is sell, make, making a lot of sales, right? They're buying a lot of stuff. Um, why? <laughs> what, what are we doing? Let's have a look at the trade report. Um, so we are buying quite a lot of stuff from traders. Now, that's private trading, of course. We're importing some stuff from Varot as well. That's not going to help. We haven't got any um, t tariffs on the go at the moment. We're not selling anything. But yeah, look, we're we're actually we're buying quite a lot of stuff. I think this is so we're actually taxing them on the sales that they're making, and they're 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 buying in a lot of water and food, which is really weird because we've got plenty of that. Um, so anyway, yeah, so the private economy is kind of booming, which is great. That that is a real help. Um, I don't know how long that's going to last, and you might find that um, the sales tax actually really messes up the economy. So because fifty percent sounds pretty high to me, sounds pretty high. So uh, if we go to look, if we just go in here. Let me just check. The private economy is still going up, look. So they're still being able to buy stuff. Uh, sales tax, we were getting 30, 333 credits. So that's great. I mean, I didn't realize that sales tax was so important, <laughs> to be honest with you. Um, I, now, I might find that that's, that's going to be a problem later on because 50% sales tax sounds like a lot. So I don't know if that's going to discourage the economy from working. Anyway, so that was a nice surprise. Let's have a look at what happened in the history. I, I haven't even watched this yet. Yeah, look, we've got build we've got some troop buildups going on here. Um but he's going to have he's he's going to have to do some work in order to bring our relations down. Uh they're trying to cut us off here, look. This is something we can do though. So I'll we'll have a look at that in a moment. Here's the Vidcom. I'm still in the full-blown time time of confidence, so we're gaining word score, which is great. Um we've got we've developed a, a new model, motorbikes called Riders. And we've got increased sales tax again. We don't want to do that. We've got military and worker privileges. Okay. So I think the best thing to do here is go through the decisions first. Douglas wants to erect a statue. Government seven, heart five. Um I don't want to reproach her for asking. I don't want to go and go in high into government really, but I think that's probably gonna be the way to go. So let's because we're losing heart for some reason. Um, why? I want to know why. Let's go to the... Where are we? Profile overview. Heart has been suppressed with two points due to a dominant profile, mind. Gained five points due to the decision related to good Douglas wants to relax statue. Okay. So mind's getting high and it's starting to reduce heart. Um... Was there anything in uh, in heart that we wanted to go further into? Yeah, joint struggle would be good. That gives a loyalty bonus of 50%. Um, we've now got 5% chance per turn of getting that. I'd like to get that. Getting the morale bonus would be good as well. Um, that said, though, I mean, going into mind now might be wise. If we, ask, if, if we do manage to sort out our economic issues, that might help. Because uh, then we want technology because the, the, the best way for us to kind of to overcome the sort of strategic issues that we're facing, I'd say, is to is to tech up. Although we have got metal now, so that's less of, less of a problem than it was. Economic Council task priorities. Uh, we still want to be going into prospecting, to be honest. So let's put a little bit more into that. Model Design Council overview. Uh, let's have a look at that bike that we just created. It's low rolls again in armor and, and not so great in weapons, um, but it's not too bad. Seem worse, but the hit points are going to be low. But the you know, look, I don't think that's what I don't. I'm not going to re-roll that. Okay. We could go for a new model of, of of infantry just to replace this bad, bad model that we've got. 
Mind you, we've got a field test come in. Uh, let's let's just upgrade that. Let's upgrade the. Uh, we'll build upon rifle two and just see what we can get out of it. It's not that expensive. We'll upgrade it to automatic rifles and padded environment suit. That's going to help. Excellent sergeant in the seventh machine gun infantry battalion. Um, we probably want to increase. We want to increase heart, don't we? What what does that increase our profile chance up to? All oh, right, eleven percent. Right, I want to get joint struggle, and if we could get this one, that would be even better. Okay. Down in the southeast. Let's deal with this uh, with these free front marauders that have turned up. Yeah, we've got more down here as well. Yeah, let's see if we can get this. Uh, oh yeah, we, we're a little bit out of supply here, sadly. But that's okay. And we'll see if we can get these guys in next turn. Let's just, re let's just get these guys together. The first in the... The first exotic hotel adventure party. <laughs> <laughs> what a great name! Let's get those. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep them. So, um, oh no, we've we've gone for the Kirk War Battalion. Fair enough. Okay, so <laughs> I like that name though. The Exotic Hotel Adventure Party sounds fun. Looks like we've got something here. Okay, we just get rid of. Uh, I just wanted to take that square. Well, these guys are a little bit out of supply, so... Mind you, there any militia, I'm not that bothered. Okay, so we've got this zone up now. The, this is Visor. And we're going to need a... Ooh. Be a bit careful, because we're going to get danger here. We've got hunger in this zone, too. So this is just the first... First uh, turn of this. So let's get these... There we go. Yeah, it's the left click, by the way. You know, I was struggling with that before. It's, it's left click that I want to be doing, not right. I wish you could paint this rather than clicking on every single one. Because I can just feel it, my RSI getting, getting worse. <laughs> it's not too bad, really. It's not that bad. I've, I've seen a lot worse in games. Man, what was it I was playing the other day and I was thinking, God, this is there's so much clicking in this game. I think what it was now. It might have been Mountain Blade. I think it was in Bannerlord, yeah. Until I until I figured out that the uh, that you can use when you're when you're transferring transferring troops in Bannerlord, um, or you're upgrading them, that kind of thing. I I forgot that I did well, I didn't really realise that you could um, what we're trying to say. I didn't realise that you could um, control and shift click on the on stuff to make so you don't have to click 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 click. So I was kind of like click 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 click, and I, <laughs> I was making myself really annoyed. And then I I was like, oh, there's a tooltip, <laughs> and the tooltip just told me, yeah, you don't have to do that. That's just me being really stupid. Okay, let's get these guys back out because I don't want to be losing. Uh... Yeah, we need to keep these guys in supply. I think I've given up on taking this now. I think I'm just gonna, I'm gonna let those have this this area, and then I can always pinch them off if I need to, depending on whether they get a, you know, whether they actually bother building a zone up in that direction or not. It's possible that they might do. I think this is part of morass, isn't it? So, who knows where that is? I mean, it could be anywhere. It could be absolutely anywhere. I've never actually seen the AI build another zone before. I don't think. I think that's the first time I've seen him do it. Okay, um, that's about it for this turn, I'd say. Construction-wise, yeah, we need to get some population into here as well, into into Visor. We've only got, yeah, we've just built that, but we don't have much in the way of, yeah, we've got a thousand workers in there. That's probably enough for that. Let's just get the, uh, let's get this road up here. And this, this thing, this is a bit... We don't need this now, so... Yeah, I don't like this inefficiency I've got with the road here. But I'll, I will figure it... I will figure it out. So... What we want to do is we want to just block this off from everything but pull. And that's probably the way to do that. Have we got sealed roads yet? 
No, we don't have sealed roads. Okay. Um, asset wise, let's just get the let's get the mine up. Now we've got loads of logistics, which means that we won't. Uh, we, it's not going to be a big problem as moving. Hold on. Let's just um, remove that. Yeah, we still got we still got logistics going down there. We still got plenty going up here. I think. Now we don't need so many up that way. Yeah, it looks like this is blocked off too. That's fine. Okay, that looks okay to me. Um, we are, we've got this truck station will come online. Yeah, we'll get the metal mine up. Then we need to start thinking about feeding troops in these areas too. Um, we are making a little bit of money now. Perhaps what I'll do is I'll just jump some population into Visa here. Um, using the colonize. So... Send a thousand colonists and we'll send uh, some population as well. Just... Okay, so that's going to just just give these guys a bit of a kickstart. All right. Yeah, these guys need more workers as well. Because we've got that bureaucratic office up. That's going to really help. I mean, we're going to have quite a lot of bureaucratic points now. Let's go to the Empire dashboard. Yeah, look. We are getting... We're still getting a bureaucratic bo uh, point bonus as well. So we're, we're actually going up the admin level yeah, and the tech level's quite quick. I don't know if we are compared to our uh, opponents. I expect not. Um, yeah, actually, we're not doing bad, look. We're not doing bad. We're not, we're, we're not quite... I mean, bearing in mind they're getting a big bonus as well because of the difficulty level. So this isn't too... Uh, we're not too shabby. These guys need replacing. Let's just um, let's get their replacement troops up. And are they in need of... No, they are Rifle 2s, that's fine. Yeah, it's just these guys that are going to start needing replacements. We've actually got high-speed machine gun now, I think, as well, haven't we? Uh, I, I'm just trying to remember whether that automatic... No, I think you have to redesign it. Of course you do, yeah. So we'd have to redesign a model. We could actually go, go for another machine gun model now. Um... Yeah, I think we probably do want some more troops. Let's see whether this increase in credits holds. Um, because if it does, it might mean that we can probably... Well, for a start, we can start get, we can actually start making things like ammo and all the things that we've kind of been neglecting. Um, you know, just more infrastructure, essentially, I think is going to be the important thing. All right, that's the end of that turn. Hey, folks, welcome back. Okay, so we're on round 43 now, and uh, yeah, let's see what happened in the last, in the history. <clears throat> I'm not sure if this is a troop build-up or if this is just the AI doing AI stuff. Uh, we've actually been encircled here too, we've been cut off, I think is probably a more accurate description. Now, this isn't going to be a big problem, we can, we can fix this. Uh, let's move in some troops. Yeah, the, uh, these guys' readiness is kind of low look, so... Yeah, they've got quite low readiness, which means that um, they're not going to be able to move too far. They're still recovering from being from being starved out, unfortunately. Uh, let's have a look at Christy Underway. She's not got a lead from the front, has she? Yes, yeah, she has. Um... Um, God, is that a woman? She's got stubble. <laughs> okay, let's uh, let's keep moving this direction. Right. Oh, we've got one more uh, battalion to move down to. That's the one that we just replaced. Oh, by the way, just before I ended the last turn. <clears throat> 
I, uh, I I raised a couple of bike units as well. So we've got the first and the second independent motorbike battalions. Uh, let's have a look at the vidcom. <clears throat> In one turn, the effects of the time of confidence will start diminishing. So we gain four word. We failed a, a promise to the Merchant Society. That's a shame. And we discovered hydroponics, which might be useful. And in fact, that will be useful because hydroponics is good. If you can afford to keep it running, it means that you don't have to use so many people. So you don't have to pay so many workers. Um, okay, so and we've got some more some more cards. Now, if we go to the reports, you'll see in the Treasury crash flow, we didn't make anywhere near as much money. So we've got no credit re revenue from sales this turn. I don't know if that's because we put the sales tax up too much. Um, I'm tempted to drop the sales tax down again now. Um, especially considering that we've actually got a... That we can put it back up again if we want to. So I'm going to decrease sales tax. Oh, we failed. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, fair enough. Um, ancient statue discovered in Kirkwall. Autocracy or government? I don't want any of them, really. Um, I think government out of the two. Roger that. Okay, um, new governor for Visa or Visa. So this is the uh, this is our new this is our new uh, location here now. Where are we? There we go. This is a uh, Visa or Wiser, whatever, and. Um, yeah, they. Uh, you, you'll see that we've actually got some. You got some population in there now. Um, we've got some hunger in the zone, unfortunately. That's probably because we just we've just built it up, and you know we've just founded this city. It's not even a city; it's a village at this point. There's only two thousand people there. Very very small. Um, we need to get a competent leader in there, and Glenn Cooper is not the man for the job. So, let's recruit. Let's recruit a junior. We're lucky we might get someone good. Trinity Star Waste. She's cap four. Uh, she's too good for that job. So I want to put... Look at her. That She's great. She could go anywhere, basically. Um, really ambitious. She probably wants to be a... I mean, probably could put her in as an advisor. Um, although I'd probably rather have her in one of my councils. Let's uh, let's play. Let's roll another time on the recruit junior. That was a really good roll, by the way. So Peter Astro, he's cap two. He's better. Intimidate and yeah, he, this guy will be a lot better. Yeah, and he's not. Uh, he's quite young. Hang on a minute. Let's just have a look. Ambition's quite low as well. Okay, he he's going to be the person. So let's get rid of this guy. And we'll take Peter Astro in that job, and then we're going to have to find somewhere for that for that good lead, the cap capacity four leader to go or capability four. Um, where can we put her? I wonder. Let's do the rest of these first. Model design council uh, task priorities. I think we want to. We need to discover some stuff. We haven't got light tank yet. I think I'm going to keep going until we've got light tank. So let's just leave that as it is. Staff Council task priorities. Uh, Gwen Burke, she was rubbish, wasn't she? So, I mean, Staff Council... Staff Council's not that useful, like, at this point of the game. Yeah, I'm just going to leave it as it is. I could, I could put um, Star Waste in there, whatever her name is. But uh, I, I don't think that that's going to be a good place for it to be. If we go into... Let's just look at the uh, directors. So... And then we'll bring up their key info as well, capacity, uh, capability level. So uh, the Interior Council is kind of important. Supreme Camp Command Council is very important. She's not that good. She's actually really, really bad luck. And she's using a war role. So I, I need to move her. I think what I'll do is I'll put Isaac Fleurlove. Okay, this guy's okay as well. I'll leave him where he is. So usually I like to get people into the military uh, design um, uh, in here as well. This guy is really good though. Look, I mean, he's he's got a really good technician role. He's only capability two, but he's good. I mean, he's he's staying there. So I think we need to remove Ada Colleen. Ada uh, Ada Colleen. She's quite ambitious. Um, seniority ranking's pretty low. Oh no, she's high. I'm sorry. Um, she's not very good in this role. I'm gonna move. I'm gonna rel relieve her. I think. She's not very happy, um, but I'm, I'm honestly not that bothered. Like, she's really, really pissed off. <laughs> but I'm not that bothered. I can just get rid of her somehow. And I'll put in... I'm going to put in the... Uh, where are we? 
Let's just go to the job type and reserve pool. So yeah, we're gonna put Trinity Star Waste in here. She's that's just gonna save me save me so much problems. Or save me so many potential future problems. Okay. Let's move. So what do we got here? Windfall turb a waterfall turbine. Yeah, um I just want to get these guys in position to be able to attack. Uh, yeah, we are. We're sacrificed. What what we're doing now is we're allowing us to be sort of enveloped, I guess. But I think I've been thinking about this. I had a bit of a break, by the way, in between the uh, in between turn, you know, uh, in between round forty two and forty three, which was kind of halfway through this episode, and it was because. <laughs> um, it was because my girlfriend wanted to watch <laughs> Better Call Saul with me. <laughs> but um, I, had, I was actually think, having a bit of a think after the show, and I was like, okay, how do I want to go about this? Like, I wonder if it might be an idea for me to get some spies into Varro and see what they've got in there, because they are techno more technologically advanced, but I'm a human, and I, I do think that I've got a fair chance of being able to defeat them. Uh, right, so I would like to get some scouting out now down this kind of direction, so let's start doing this. I want more of these guys as well. They don't cost a lot to run. <laughs> run. It's not the right word. They don't really cost a lot to keep in the field, is what I mean to say. Um, let's get a dirt road going out that way, and we'll get one going out down here too. Like that. And uh, let's just recalculate the predicted points for next turn. Yeah, okay, so they're all going to be in, in supply. Uh, let's put a traffic light down here and just make sure we've only got pull points going through. So we don't need a huge amount of um, trucks going this way, just a few to supply these troops. Uh, we are about done there, I think. Now... Uh, let's get... Think about this. We do want to go this way and try and cut these guys off. So let's let's branch off here. It's not a branch at this point. Oh, no, no. I've got no industrial points. Okay, so I can't do any of that. Okay, so let's just leave that for this turn. We're actually building roads is kind of stimmy does being able to put anything into this metal mine next turn. It's not a big problem. We're not in a big, big hurry for metal. We have got a bit of a reserve of metal at the moment. Industrial points is kind of important, though. Now these guys are out of supply. I I must bring them back into supply. We have lost enough troops, unfortunately. And I don't want to be making any more mistakes like that. I do have a bit of a habit of going a bit gung-ho sometimes with my exploration. The thing is, um, it's really difficult to beat out of me that old 4x adage that you need to expand rapidly as fast as possible. Um, you know, it's really difficult to get out of that habit. I think on a map like this, though, you've kind of got to, you, you've got to, sorry, you've got, I've got to rein myself in is what I'm trying to say. Um, moving into these territories is important to a point. Let me just, hang on, let me, yeah, this is the entire map, isn't it? So, uh, we have got, wait, oh, that's a hot bar. I'm pretty sure we did see... I could have sworn that I saw another regime. Yeah, here's Schwarzmark. Here, there we go. Look, this is Schwarzmark. This is we're actually about running up into, uh, you know, seeing another seeing another major. Now these guys are in a better. They're they're actually better than they're in a better relationship state with us. They're friends. Um, I wonder if we can play any cards on them yet. It might be worth opening, seeing if we can open contact with them. Target regime cannot be your own regime. Okay, so we're looking in the wrong place. There we are. You need one recon. Let's get some spies in there. Let's just hope we've got a stratagem card for it. No. Okay, we, we're not going to be able to do that yet. We need to actually get some eyes on them first. Uh, yeah. We can raise income tax further. I think I'm going to do that. Where are we? Oh, no, we haven't got any political points. Okay, that's pretty much all we can do then this time. And I think that's going to be the end of the episode, guys. I will probably catch you next time. Take care.